What is big data? Now that is a good question. Now there seems to be many, many definitions for big data as there are businesses, non-profit organizations, government agencies and individuals who want to benefit from it. In this video, I'm going to talk about what exactly is big data in the most simplest of terms. And then I'm going to talk about the six different ways of big data that you should know, right? So without wasting any time, why don't you hit that like button? Why don't you hit that subscribe button? And let's enter into the world of big data. Hi, this is Afreen Rahman and like I said, in this video, let's discuss big data. Now, one popular interpretation of big data refers to extremely large data sets. Now, some have defined big data as an amount of data that exceeds a petabyte. What is a petabyte? A petabyte is 1 million gigabytes. Another definition for big data is exponential increase and in availability of data in our world, right? So this data that we're talking about, it comes from myriad of sources, right? It comes from so smartphones, it comes from social media posts, sensors such as, you know, traffic signals that we have, utility meters that we have, you know, from, uh, uh, you know, point of sale terminals, consumer wearables such as, you know, we have our watches, our fit meters, our electronic health records, on and on and on and on, right? Now, buried deep within this data are immense opportunities for organizations that have the talent and technology to transform their vast source of data into actionable insight, improved decision making and competitive advantage. Now, what about if we harness the power of big data, right? By harnessing the power of big data, healthcare systems can identify at-risk patients and they can intervene sooner, you know, when they really need the help. Police departments can predict crime and stop it before it starts. Retailers can get better forecast inventory to optimize supply chain efficiency. Well, let me tell you, the possibilities are absolutely endless. But to fulfill this promise, organizations need qualified professionals with the skills to extract meaning from mountains of data, basically, right? And here I will uh, actually discuss you the very first, the big three V's first of big data, right? So the three V's of big data, the first one is volume, right? When I talk about volume, the unprecedented explosion of data means that the digital universe will reach 180 zettabytes. That is 180 followed by 21 zeros by 2025. Oh my God, right? So today the challenge with data volume is not so much storage as it is how to identify relevant data within gigantic data sets and make good use of it. Number two, we velocity. Now, data is generated at an ever accelerating pace, right? Every minute, Google receives 3.8 million search queries, right? And email users send 156 million messages. Facebook uploads 243,000 photographs, right? So the challenge for data scientists is to find ways to collect, process, and make use of huge amount of data as it comes in. Third way is variety. Now, data comes in different forms, right? There is structured data, uh, that is, which can be organized neatly within the columns of a database. This type of data is, you know, kind of relatively easy to enter, store, query, and analyze. But then comes unstructured data, right? And unstructured data is more difficult to sort and extract value from. Now, examples of unstructured data could include emails, it could include social media posts, it could uh, include word processing documents, audio, video, and photo files, web pages, and much, much more. Now, beyond these three big V's, right? There are a few more V's. What are they? then we have veracity or number four, right? What is veracity? Now, this refers to the quality of the data collected. If source data is not correct, analysis will be worthless, right? As the world moves towards automated decision-making, where computers are making choices instead of humans, it becomes imperative that organizations be able to trust the quality of the data, right? 
then comes variability which is the fifth point right now data's meaning is constantly changing in this world for example language processing by computers is exceedingly difficult because because you know words have uh, often have several meanings right a single word can mean so many other things now data scientists must account for this variability by creating sophisticated program that understand the context and meaning of words right then comes the sixth uh, v which is the visualization now data must be understandable to non technical stakeholders and decision makers now visualization is creation of complex graphs that tell the data scientists story right they transform the data into information and information into insight insight into knowledge and knowledge certainly into advantage right then comes our seventh v which is our value now how can organization make use of big data to improve decision making right uh, there is a mckinsey article you know about the potential impact of big data on healthcare in the us that suggested that you know different big data initiatives could account for 300 billion dollars to 450 billion dollars in reduced healthcare spending right so if i sum it all together no how, you know no matter how many v's you prefer in your big data one thing is sure big data is here and it is only getting bigger so every organization needs to understand what big big data means to them and what it can help them to do the possibilities really are endless well i hope this was simple easy and exciting for you to understand big data and its six different ways here for more information for or more relatable uh, content please do follow us hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next with a new video thank you